bike blogger here on my way to work in the morning. It's a little gloomy today. Looking mighty gloomy. Dump truck. Sha, 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 sha. Woo. Tip of the day. Protect your saddle. Protect your bike saddle. Gonna give you some tips. Get all the way over. Woo. How do you protect your bike saddle? You cover it up. But with what? Where you going, bike blogger? Bike blogger, where you going? Oh, that's a hill, bike blogger. Careful. Oh. Woo! Right into the net. Right into the net. Oh. That's a dead tree. Let's go take a look. Or maybe it's not dead. What do you think? All right, hang on a second. Hey there, bike blogger here. Tip of the day, cover your saddle. This is a um, shower cap. You can get them for free. Well, not really for free, I guess. If you rent a room at a hotel, motel, whatever, Usually they have these in the bathroom. Spend a dollar, you can get like a dozen of them though, so. But they're really, really nice because you just cover up your saddle with them. And you'll be dry and ready to go. Go have some fun on your bike. You don't need a shower cap though. You use a shopping bag, a plastic, anything really plastic. Uh, you can just cover up your saddle. Um, The least fun thing when it comes to riding a bike is a wet butt. So cover your butt, use some fenders, and uh, cover your saddle, especially if you're obviously if you're parking outside. Let's continue with the commute. Thanks for watching. Alright, let's get to work. i be a little careful riding on the grass because uh, you don't know where all the ditches are. So it can be a little dangerous that way. Sha, 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 sha. Yeah, it's looking a little, a little cloudy. It might rain today. I am taking a, a risk riding my bike that does not have fenders. But yeah, I've definitely found parking my bike outside. You definitely want to cover up your saddle. Really easy to do with a plastic shopping bag. Uh, virtually free. Look at it. There we go. That was a last minute decision there. I was about to get on the trail. It's a little too late though. Wasn't ready to wipe out yet. Beginning of my bicycle commute. Now 
now we'll get on the trail. Need to oil that trash truck because it is uh, squeaky. Woo. Nice day. It is springtime. Sun's coming out now, so maybe I made a good choice to not take the rain bike today. Take my single speed instead. Whew. What else is there to say? Uh, when covering up your saddle, uh, if someone wants to uh, leave a comment, if they got, you know, one of those fancy leather Brooks saddles. Uh, what do they do? Because I don't know. I don't know if you just don't bother to cover it or you cover just the top, but you still keep airflow underneath it. So I imagine it's sort of important that you don't suffocate it. Could be wrong though. So that was a fun little detour. Sort of taking the trails today, taking it easy, got a little extra time. Split second decisions, forks in the road. Shush, shush, shush. I'm thinking about jumping that curb to my left. It's a steep curb though. Eh, it's pretty darn steep. Oh. Alright. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Nice day today. Cycling to work. Up the hill. Down the hill. Ah, and I missed the trail. I thought there was a trail back there. I'm gonna go take a look at the trail. So we're gonna turn around. Oh, wow. I don't think I've taken you down this way because I always pass it because I miss it. But, uh, ah, let's go through the woods a little. Not a bike path. So I'm probably gonna get off my bike in a second already unclipping. I'm not sure if that's really a wise move, though. Huh. Where does this go? Actually, I can get on my bike here. The ground is pretty level. Riding on this. These wood chips. It's a little muddy. Oh, that was really muddy. Okay. All right. Up the hill. See, I didn't need fenders today. All right. Interesting looking house. Got some red trim going. Looks like I'm at the end of a, I'm at a dead end of a street here. <clears throat> Clean up your garbage. All right, I'm gonna climb this hill, the bottom of the hill here, a little muddy. Zigzag like this on a hill makes it a little easier. Even though your total distance climbing the hill is going to be longer, it's a little uh, a little cheat. As long as it's not really 
traffic around. Other traffic. You know, we zigzagging on the street. But uh, when you can, it certainly does make it a bit easier. That's tip number two. Woo! Tips of the day. All right, come on, Brown Boulevard. We're gonna make a right, I think. I think, me thinks. downtown Brentwood. We usually end our commute at downtown Maplewood. Beautiful day today. It's coasting downhill. Watch that big manhole. Woo! Go back this way. Show, show. My brakes are a little dirty. Heading toward the Brentwood Promenade. Busy parking lot back here. We're gonna make a, a left. Soon. Soon. Here we go. Soon, soon, soon. Going behind the Target. The Target discount store. Wandering around. Yeah, this was about a shower cap. Protect that saddle. Really, this is just the rest of my commute, so thank you for coming along if you're still watching, which I hope you are, and I hope you're a subscriber. I'm gonna go straight here. Obviously, you can only go straight, but I'm gonna go straight. All the way straight. And behind these businesses up ahead. Shush, 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 shush. All right. Instead of going behind the businesses today. All up in your business. This is the way to go. Big wall to the left. That is a tall wall. I must have dug out this uh, shopping center because it's there up on a hill to my left. Okay. Back out over here. Make a left when it's safe to do so. It's a big blind spot right here. People shouldn't really be going very fast through here though anyway. Metro lighting. Make a left here. Alright. Back in the Brentwood Industrial Court area. Offices and uh, a little bit of uh, light industrial. Let's follow the truck.
Dayton Freight. Slow down, Dayton Freight. I'm trying to catch up to you. Bicyclists. Woo! I waved, but they didn't wave back to me. I should yell out, hey you! <laughs> Don't usually go this way. Mixing it up this morning. I hate this though, stop sign on an incline. Ugh. This truck's gonna try to beat me, so I just go ahead and let him go. Building a Minards over there. Ten seconds. Riding a little to the right, wide lane. Riding this far to the right, I'm gonna get past. Which is fine by me as long as it's safe for everybody. Alright then, it all works out again, no conflict, woo! Make a ride up here. I need to start going to work. that road go? Let's go take it. I haven't gone this way before. It looks totally different. <laughs> Not really. More residential. I'm on a one-way road, which leads me to believe this is an, a road that's just gonna spill out onto a bigger street which might be Big Bend Boulevard up ahead. A little ways, maybe. 
dump truck. And the bobcat. Nice relaxing Wednesday morning commute to work by bike. Yeah, this is Brentwood Boulevard. I think we'll go straight. I could get on Brentwood Boulevard. But I don't really want to. I'm sort of feeling going straight right now. Brentwood Boulevard sort of a big road, like uh, Brentwood Boulevard. And like Brentwood Boulevard, the, uh, the pavement, the asphalt, the road surfaces, really bad. So, actually got a pretty wide shoulder if you wanted to use the shoulder as a bike lane. So I probably could just put down a paint strip and call it a bike lane. That's what a lot of, that's what a lot of cities do. Ready to go here. Hey, we're going on Grand Boulevard anyway. It's take too long. What we'll do is we'll scooch over. Because what I want to do is go up the hill to the left me to get to work. So I just need to look for an opening behind me, which is there, and we're taking it. Make a left here up uh, Bruno Sash Folk. Once Mr. Van gets a move on. Sutton. Actually, sort of one Sutton. But we'll go straight instead. What's this guy doing? It's truck number, is that number three or number two? Let's make a right. Whew. More construction vehicles. Just about the end of my commute here. We'll sign off in a moment. Gotta say thanks to you subscribers, viewers. Make it all worth worthwhile. Actually it's worthwhile anyway, but I still value all of you. You all are awesome. It's a great feeling to inspire others to bike commute to work. right here. Whew. Up one more hill. We're going to end it at the bleachers, I think. So let's do that. Nobody behind me. 
steep hill. Oh, got my butt behind the saddle on that one. Beautiful park here in Maplewood, Missouri. Not so beautiful bleachers. But that's okay. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time. Tennis ball.